Hello! Welcome back to the Figuring It Out Podcast. How you doing? We're on episode 23. Episode Viente y Pes. My name's Dana. My name's Dominique. And how the hell are you this week? It's cold outside still. Oh, it's so cold outside. It's so yucky. The rain is hard. It shouldn't be. It's frozen. It's it's the in between between snow and rain and uh, I just I don't want to leave my house. Yeah, it's there's also like 2 inches of snow outside right now? Yes. It looks like a slushy machine exploded outside. But not flavored. Not just flavored. ice. Dirt Dirt and gasoline flavored. Mmm. 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 Wouldn't pass me, like, wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me that a gas station store would serve that. Oh, that would be their special, uh, edition Slurpee flavor that they gave away on, um, July 11th. I'm sure. Mmm. Besides being cold, how are you? How I'm okay. was your week? My week was good. My weekend was really fun. I spent it with the boy. And now we back to the old grind Ooh. of the work week. Mm-hmm. Valentine's Day is coming up. It is. As as our listeners as may know. This, <laughs> as we're recording this, this is going up in two weeks? A week? Uh it's coming. It's coming. It's coming it'll, to you. Yeah, it'll be here two weeks. Two weeks. Dos. Dos. I don't know. Two weeks. Two weeks from right now. From right now. <laughs> from right now. February 12th. <laughs> Dana, how the hell are you? Yeah. Um. um <laughs> not good. Wanna talk about it? Yeah, I guess. I just. I know a lot of people can relate, but. I'm hitting, like, that part of being 20 and, like, entering my 20s where I'm, like, okay, I have to, like, really get my shit together and then, like, I can't say no to anyone, so I take on, like, a bunch of other things and then I like to do everything myself because I know that it's getting done if I do it myself and so I don't take help from other people and that's all crashing on top of me and I feel like I'm burning, I'm smiling really hard right now. She's smiling through the pain and the <laughs> Hey, man, I think so many of us now are at, like, a pivotal point of our lives. We're, we're at a point where we can't exactly do what we've always done. Yeah. Like our lovely, like our <clears throat> lovely guests, um, Jerry and Mike, had pointed out, where we can't just, you know, hang out like we used to. We yeah. Can't, we can't just be at a standstill. We have to get in the motion of building ourselves up to be something greater. Yeah. And then, like you said, feeling the need to do that and feeling the need to um, accomplish all these things because you want to better yourself, because you're at that turning point of your life. It's a lot to take on because now we've gone from zero to a hundred and now it's about finding the balance of how to manage it all. Mm. Very true. It's a lot, though. Yeah. I think um, it's, in a way, uh, I could feel like you can barely breathe. Kind of. I. My troubles are coming from... I... Uh, <laughs> I'm unhappy where I'm working because it's just not up to my standards and I'm not making what I was making, even though it was just a slight, you know, pay increase, but, like, it makes a huge difference on a paycheck. Mm -hmm. And it's... I'm just in a sticky situation because I'm not happy what I'm doing because I want to be doing art and being happy that way, but... I feel like I have no time for that because I'm too tired from working, like, the 9 to 5. 9 to 5 isn't human. (laughs) I mean, like, it's not 9 to 5. Like, sometimes I go in later in the day, but it's still, like, anywhere from 6.5 to 8.5 hours a day. Which is a lot. Yeah, and... That's a huge chunk of your day. Yeah, and it's just... 
there's certain things about it that I just feel kind of already taken advantage of and already tired from this job. Yes. So, I don't know. I'm just tired. Like, and I was telling my mom I was tired. And she's like, go lay down. Like, let's take a nap. And I was just, like, not that tired. Like, I'm just mentally so exhausted. And, like, things that I loved doing are becoming a chore to me. Right. Because? Because it's just like, okay, I do this, you know, all the time, and nothing is making me happy anymore. Like, this makes me happy, and it fulfills me. Right. But other, like, everything else, I'm kind of just like, all right, it's part of the routine. Like... I think the routine is what's so harrowing because it's just you look outward into the next like weeks months and you're like is this what it's gonna be like is it it gonna be wake up do the morning routine do the work routine come home do the dinner routine do the sleep routine it's just where is the room like you said for that creativity for that creative outlet and for spontaneity I, i'm not i don't spontaneity that that really <laughs> difficult word that does not roll off my tongue it, it it's just um like i said nine to five i don't think it's i don't think it's human because it doesn't allow you that time to yourself to explore yourself to feed your passions and to feed yeah. your desires i just don't think it's right and i dominique can second this. I am such a free spirit (laughs) that, (laughs) like, I need, I know that I need this time to really find myself, and my number chart even said it, my whole life I'm gonna be finding myself, (laughs) so it's just, like, I know that I need to give myself time to do it, but I can't afford time to do it, and that's just, like, a whole other tangent that, like, drives me up the freaking wall. I get it. I... I feel, um, I feel that way sometimes too. I feel very unhappy where I am because it's not where I want to be. Yeah. And I also feel like I don't have time to get to where I want to be or I just have such a small minuscule window of time and there's so many things I want to fit in just to that little bit and I can't and that just adds the anxiety on top of everything else that's going on, like the normal, like, life stressors and... I'll say it again, it's fucking suffocating. Yeah. It, it can feel like, I, I compare it a lot to drowning. Yeah, I was just gonna say, I kind of feel like I'm drowning. Yeah. But, you know, you just have to try and like, okay, today sucks, I'm gonna let today suck. Right. And then tomorrow I'm gonna wake up and hope to God it's better. Right. Sometimes you just have those days or you have those periods of time, and that's, excuse me, that's what makes, um... When, it's, when it reverses, when it goes upwards instead of downwards, that's what makes you appreciate that, I think, much yeah, more. For sure. You're, you're on your way. There's big things in store for you, Miss Dana Renee. I know. We just we all have ups and downs, and I'm currently in, like, a little down. And I know that, like, I feel like every, like, couple weeks I'm just like, I'm sad. <laughs> but, like, it's it happens. It's cyclical. I, yeah. think, I think it's very cyclical. Because I'm the same way. I, I have my good weeks and I have my bad weeks. And... Sometimes it's predictable. Um, yeah. Other times, you know, moods just hit you and you don't know why. This came at a left field. <laughs> like, hardcore. But sometimes you just gotta let yourself feel that. Yeah, I kind of just, like, let myself cry yesterday. Like, I just needed to. I, I just cried, like, from the moment I woke up to the moment I got to work. And then I stopped crying when I got to work because I ain't crying in front of no kids. <laughs> <laughs> and then when I got out of work... I went to my mom's house and I cried to her for, like, an hour. And then I cried in all D's a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Did it make you feel better? Yeah, sometimes you just have to, like, get it out. Mm-hmm. Like, sometimes, uh, for me, all being sad is is that I just need to, like, cry. There's no right. reason why I'm sad. I just, like, my body needs to cry. And then when after I'm done crying, I feel good. I'm like, okay, let's yeah. got that out of my system. I think, um... Especially with uh, kids around our age, uh, we have a tendency to block emotions when they happen. Um, yeah, I kind of, I kind of shove it down until I'm like laying in bed, and then I'm like, oh right, that thing today, I felt that. 
Right. <laughs> so it's like, I feel like sometimes, like, when I'm feeling sad for no reason, it's like, Dominique, there's probably a reason, and you just waited until now to confront it, so now you don't even know what the fuck. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, um, you know, like I said, you're a beautiful soul, <laughs> and Thank I you. see nothing but good in your future, and you are also surrounded by people who love you so, so much. I know. And, um, that, that I think, um, on those days where it really sucks, it makes it a bit better. Yeah. It's, it's a cushion. A hundred percent. And even yesterday, I, I texted you telling you, like, how upset I was and just, like, vet, kind of venting to you. And I vented to my boyfriend and I vented to, to my aunt and I vented to my mom. And I was just like, I just need to tell the people who care about me that I'm this upset because, like... They need to know, like, at a certain point Mm -hmm. that, like, hi, I'm not doing well. Like, if something's going on, can you, like, wave your hand? Like, (laughs) yeah. And, um, and I think, um, in a lot of cases, that's really good. I can't say I do the same just because, like, I, like, for some reason can't confront that part of myself sometimes. Yeah. Um, but it is nice knowing that, like, for instance, if I ever needed to, reach out to you, for instance, and be like, hey, Dana, I'm having a hard time. Yeah. I know you'd lend an understanding year. 100%. I'd come to you with some freaking Chinese food, and I'd be like, girl, we drinking wine, <laughs> we eating Chinese food, we watching a movie, watching we getting through this. What, what the <laughs> fuck is that, bitch? <laughs> so, that's where I am. My week, today is better. Today is better. Today is better than this weekend. Today is better than yesterday. I can always look forward to tomorrow and always. hope that tomorrow's better. And if it's not, oh fucking well. Good comes somewhere. Then there's Thursday, and then there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, and then Sunday, and then it starts all over again, so. Look at it this way. You get to see Ed tomorrow. I do, and then I get to see him the next day, too. Oh my god, and did did you get to see him last night as well? I did. Oh my god, it's a week of the boy. <laughs> because I was literally so upset. I was like, can you just sleep over after work? Because I can't (laughs) and he was just like yes of course that's see that's what i mean that's that's what you need the people who love you will make it better when it's not yeah so anyway any who's it's and what can we start this episode geez sorry for a freaking depressor hey i i really just i really hope that um there's there's someone out there who can resonate with what we're saying because I don't hope someone can resonate with what we're saying, but... I mean, I hope that <laughs> if, if, if there is someone out there that feels like that, they could resonate with this yes, and not feel as alone. Of course. I don't I don't wish pain or emotional turmoil upon any of you. Some of you. Maybe. Anyway. I don't know all of you. So, this week, we're going to be playing a game of Devil's Advocate again. Bringing it back! Woo! 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 Okay, so... For new listeners, or those who haven't listened to that episode, which, what are you missing out on? Go check out our YouTube channel for all the archived episodes. Check it out, check it out. It'll be linked in the description below. Um, But we're playing Devil's Advocate, and how we play this game is we have a hat full of topics, if you can hear them. That's anger and opinion shaking around in there. Some serious, some funny, some just weird (laughs) and we're going to pick one and then whoever picks it has to defend what or has to hate on right yeah we we hate on yes we have to hate on it and be like this thing sucks this is why it sucks i hate it and then after 30 seconds is up the next person has to defend it and be like no this topic and opinion is amazing and here's why and, you know, me and Dana both wrote a list of things that we do not like. We may pick something that we do not like and have to defend it, or vice versa. We might pick something we really <clears throat> like and have to hate on it. I'm very worried about that. <laughs> I, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. That's the, that's the fun of it. Okay. Um, do you want me to start? Um, or sure. do you want to start? Um, you, you have the hat in hand. Okay. I think you should give it a good shake and okay. rant away for 30 seconds. Up. Okay, I'm going to mix it up with my hand. Toss it like a salad. I want... Which one feels right? (laughs) You. 
Okay. Ooh. Ooh, it's one of mine. And? TP. Or toilet paper. Over or under? Oh, God fucking Lord. Go! Put your goddamn toilet paper... Okay, when you're looking at your toilet paper and it's sitting on the thing, okay, <laughs> it should be over and just, like, floating there and be like, hi, I'm right here for whenever you have to wipe your butt or your vagina, and I'm ready and willing to serve you at any time. Instead of putting your freaking thing behind where it's just like, haha, come get me whenever you want me, na 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 na, sometimes I disappear. Ding, ding, ding. Ugh. <sighs> Well, I must say, I do like a bit of a tease. So if the freaking TP is a little, is switched the other way and it's underneath and I gotta reach around and grab it, then God damn it, I will. And in the grand scheme of things, whether it's over or under, I'll take either, as long as it implies that toilet paper is there. You know what I don't want? No toilet paper. That's a fair point. No toilet paper at all. Cause then who is gonna wipe my ass? Over or under, I don't care. See, like, I'll give it to you, but also that was just not part of the option. <laughs> what do you mean? What were the options? Over or under. Well, and I... And you had to defend over or under. And I did. <laughs> but choosing no op- no toilet paper. But I did defend the under. I, I <laughs> compared it to a tease that I wouldn't mind reaching under for. All right, and pick a, a frickin'... I will, Dana, I will. Mine. People who stop a full car's length behind the white line at a red light. <laughs> and begin. Why? Why are you doing that? Um, a whole car's length behind the white line. Um, I don't know what you're so scared of. Um, the red light can still see you. Uh, you having that car length in front of you just means that there's another car somewhere behind all of the other lines of cars that was not able to get to the next section of lights because you were insistent on giving yourself way too much space. Why? Right, but... But maybe they're just following what they were taught in driving school. Do you remember driver's ed when they taught you Keep one car's length behind the other cars and behind everywhere you stop, one car's length. It used to be three cars' length. You're lucky that they're not parking three cars' lengths behind a stoplight. They'll be all the way halfway down the lane, and all the other cars will be honking at them, and they'll be like, sorry, I'm doing what my driver's ed teacher taught me. I would like to comment that our driver's ed teacher was not a reliable man. And did not teach me that. He hated me. He hated most females different topic. <laughs> <coughs> Shimmy and a shake. Alrighty. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I keep picking mine. <laughs> vegans who hate non-vegans. Give it to us, you freaking vegan. Why are you hating on what other people's life choices? I know that you're like, Animal cruelty, oh my god, protect the animals. But, like, some people actually need to eat meat to survive. Their body can't live without meat because they have certain allergies and things like that where their body does not process the things that consist in a vegan lifestyle. They need the protein, they need the calcium, and yes, it's not great for you, but stop hating on people who don't have the same lifestyle as you. Rude. I think vegans have a point. I think um, if they're hating on uh, meat eaters, it goes beyond them just eating meat. Because if you eat meat, what else do you do? You probably that's all you do (laughs) kill animals and 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 stuff. And um, that's wrong. And meat is wrong. And people are just out there having opinions of other people. That's not wrong. I red meat until I die. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Go ahead, pick. 
We got ketchup on eggs slash mac. Mm -hmm. Mac and cheese. Well, I will say ketchup on eggs is quite delicious. It turns a flavorless egg substance into um, an edible meal. Um, mac and cheese. Okay. All right. Cheese and eggs. You put you put uh, cheese and ketchup on your cheeseburgers, so why the fuck not on some cheesy noodles? Ketchup goes on everything. Ketchup masks the flavor of everything. It's not hurting anybody. Okay, but how dare you? How dare you put ketchup on a god's created egg? It is so full of protein and good fats and carbs. I don't know if eggs really have carbs in them. I don't eat eggs. But <laughs> how dare you mask all of that nutrition with ketchup, with sugar and vinegar and tomatoes mixed together? That's sinful. Ketchup is God's favorite condiment. I love ketchup on eggs. <laughs> I haven't eaten eggs in two years, but I love ketchup on eggs. But if you ever did, you'd probably put some ketchup on them. Mm -hmm. oh, right, right, right. Okay. This is one of yours. Ooh, long. Okay. Binge watching an entire show or season of a show on Netflix in one sitting. I don't see... Oh, wait. I'm supposed to hate on it. Yeah, Start at the clock. It's... it's uh, uh, hate it. Okay. Do you not have anything better to do with your life? You have 16 hours to sit and watch an entire season because most seasons of TV shows have like 12 to 16 episodes. So that's 16 hours of your life in one day that you have watched an entire season without doing anything. You probably haven't peed. You probably haven't showered. You probably haven't eaten. What are you doing, Cindy? Get your freaking life together. I, I don't care that you just watched the third season of Lost in three days. Do you know how many good shows there are out there to watch? Do you know how much time I don't have to watch them all? If if I am graced with a whole day to myself and there is a show that people have been poking at me and poking at me to watch, I am strapping the fuck in, getting my, no, my, my most cozy blanket, getting an arsenal of fluffy pillows, and I'm watching that bitch for the whole day. Probably will order food. Perfect. Reasonable. Reasonable. <laughs> Might. <laughs> I've never, I don't think I've ever watched one season of a show, of a show in one day. What show is it? No, I don't think I have ever. Oh, you don't think you have no. ever? I don't have that big of an attention span. Crazy ex-girlfriend. Mm. Crazy ex-girlfriend. Oh, this is a fatty. Oh yeah, that's one of mine. She thick. Ice cream in cold weather. Your outsides are cold. You are externally already freezing. Why are you internally freezing yourself further? Um, I feel like hot chocolate would better be suited for this situation. Um, I don't really think there's any ice cream parlors open the time of year where it's freezing. Um, you're wasting your money. Uh, hot chocolate, you could buy a box for like $5. I... <laughs> Dairy. I just want to say one thing. Well, I have a couple of things. Is <clears throat> so, ice cream parlors are open. Some are open year-round. Thank you very much, Baskin and Robbins. Uh, secondly, some people are just... They prefer ice cream as their good night treat. They don't like hot desserts. They don't like hot pie. They don't like hot chocolate. They like a nice, creamy, cold, maybe a sorbet. Maybe a mint chocolate chip ice cream. That's still perfect. It's a hot dog. Okay. Doing these games are so much fun. It's a good party game, guys. For sure. <laughs> Friends, the TV show. Oh, dear God. <laughs> oh. Okay. Just so overrated. How many seasons was it? Nine? Twelve? Whatever the hell? Like... Too many seasons, too many dumb jokes, too many Rachel and Monica's and Ross and Chandler's and all the way. By the way, Ross, shut up. Like, Ross, just shut up. And Rachel, oh my 
good god. Joey can, like, stay. He's fine. Monica, girl, get your shit together because you're so neurotic. <sighs> friends. Where do I begin? They're my friends, too. There's just, there's just such a good 90s vibe about that show where you could just, like, it's not something that you want to, like, watch a whole season of in a day. But if you're going to bed and you need some comforting voices in the background, Friends will be there for you. And Friends gave us Chandler. And Chandler gave us great self-depreciative humor. Jesus Christ. Go ahead, you. 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 I really want a chocolate bar right now. A frozen chocolate bar? No, it was just a chocolate bar. What kind of chocolate bar? Like a Milky Way. Milky Way. Mm -hmm. So you want Hershey. No, no. You want a chocolate bar with the fillings. With some nougat, some with the caramel. Works. Are you a Snickers fan? Not really. So you. It depends. You don't like the crunchy? Then. No, I like, like, the soft and gooey. So, because, like, like, I feel like. But I um, love a Butterfinger. Those are crispy. Those yeah. are a different breed of chocolate bar. They're fantastic. They're delicious. Mm -hmm. Obnoxious sneezes Oof. is what I've drawn. Shut the fuck up. You are interrupting everybody's peace with your germs and your loudness. It's not, you do not have to break eardrums to get that sneeze out. You're just looking for attention. I, I frankly worry, um, if your needs are being met in your life, um, if you're receiving the attention that you need to be, uh, uh, upstanding and normal individual. It's scary. I don't expect it sometimes, and you don't, you just don't gotta. I'm sorry that we scare you, but sometimes I have to vocalize my sneeze or else the power of it doesn't hit properly sometimes we have to yell to get our sneeze out like just like when people cough really loudly they go ah <laughs> because the the vocal fry gets gets the the lungs to push out more so that's the exact same thing that happens when you sneeze if you yell the velocity of your snot comes out quicker I won't discriminate. Loud sneezers, loud coughers, all of you can go fuck yourselves. <laughs> loud sneezers, loud crawfer, coughers, <laughs> crowd pleasers. We are killing it. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Using mason jars in place of regular cups, containers, decor. And go. The dollar store has an entire aisle of cups and vases and containers and I don't understand they have a whole Tupperware section and I know Tupperware isn't like economically whatever and environmentally friendly but it you get some uses out of it and instead you look like a dumbass in a country barn and you need to stop it now well, giddy the fuck on up and get ready for this ride. You know what I could do, Dana? I could go and buy 12 mason jars for the price of, like, $10. And if you do the math, which I will not, I can buy 10 bitch, bitch, cups is it your for time? $10 is at it your the time? dollar store. No, I'm, I get an additional time because of you now. <laughs> I can get 12 mason jars for the price of $10. And if I do the math on that, I am paying less than a dollar for jar. Do you know how diverse those fuckers are? You could put liquids in it. You could put flowers in it. I went and put freaking stones in it. And they look cute. They look effortlessly cute. So if you're like lazy, but you still like your place looking hip and shit, it's perfect. It is perfect for the lazy decorator such as myself. And I thank you, Mason. I, I did just actually disagree with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, your turn. Okay. This isn't the phrase of a question. Sleeping. Useless or not. I am on the side of sleeping be being very um, useful. 
Uh, because I need an escape from reality and dreams are like a movie I can star in that I can be my own, own uh, stunt man in. I could fly. I could cast spells. Um, I need it or else my brain will fizzle out and I would not be able to function. Um, I need to be on a functioning level, guys. Sleep gets me there. I think sleep is an important... I think there are so many people who run on nights and nights and nights without sleeping and they get so much accomplished. They're most, some of the most successful people in the world. I think that sleep is a concept made up by the government. So you weaken your ability to be an amazing, outstanding human being and the tiredness of the brain makes your body work harder so you're more productive and more powerful. This, sleep is a concept. Sleep. A government conspiracy. <laughs> what about that, Shane Dawson? <laughs> I gotta tell you now, I don't think I'm gonna sleep for the next week. You really... You really That's compelling. <laughs> <laughs> Is it my turn? Yes. I apologize. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Hmm... Hello. Taking off your makeup before bed. Don't do it. Don't take off your makeup before bed. Fuck it. Your face is going to be healthier if you don't take off your makeup before bed. Because your face is going to get used to all the gunk and the dirt and the oil on your face, so you're never going to break out. And then your face is going to be so much smoother. And you're never going to get an eye infection. You're never going to have any issues. You can just keep caking it on when you wake up. It saves time in the morning. Take off your makeup before you sleep. You know what you're doing if you're not taking your makeup off before you sleep? You're also not washing your face before you sleep. You need to wash your face, you need to clean your pores, you need to get that gunk excavated from the depths of your face. Um, eventually your eyelashes will begin to fall out. A1. A1 steak sauce, baby. My tween. Holding the door for someone. Why do it? What have they ever done for you? Would they hold the door for you? Maybe. But that is that, if, if they jumped off a cliff, would you also jump off that cliff while holding the door for them? I don't think so. You know what? Let it slam in their stupid fucking face. That's natural selection at play for you. <laughs> if... They are strong enough and capable enough of holding their own goddamn door. The end. But what if the person you're not holding the door for is having the worst day, and then you just let the door slam in their face, and that they're just like, God, that's the one thing that I needed today, and then you're just now standing in the parking lot of Wawa, sobbing, because they're having a horrible day, and you're the one who broke the straw on the camel's back. Just hold the door for someone. Make someone's day. See, you're welcome, even if they don't say thank you, because you're a little bit petty, but... You should always hold the door for someone because someone's going to hold the door for you and you're going to take it for granted. Don't take it for granted. Guys, don't take me for granted. For granite door. No one makes granite. doors out of granite. Granite countertops. Granite's too heavy to be a door. What if the goal was a heavy door? Metal. Metal? Yeah. Skip the granite, go to the metal. Action movies. Uh, go. Go. Fuck them. <laughs> Hardcore. Right in their butt. Fuck them. I hate action movies. I think they're the most pointless movies ever. They don't have any storyline. It's just men running, robbing banks, 
fighting each other every t- like 15 minutes and you're just like didn't they just fight and now they're at this location fighting how many fights can you have in one day are you okay sir is everything all right in your mind in your life do you need to see god hey don't don't knock action movies for not having a storyline vin diesel and that other guy were very close paul walker paul walker not walking so much anymore um, they were very close. Um, it had me at the edge of my seat. It's basically like, okay, so like, dreaming is my action movie away from reality that I could star in. Action movies, I could project myself, put myself there, and be in the action. I'll never get to jump from car to car in real life. What? You totally could jump from car to car in real life. But you would just I have survive? to apply yourself. But apply myself. <laughs> apply they my don't have to be moving. Apply the force of my body to the force of a moving vehicle. It's no fun if they're stable. But you can still do it. I could, but I would also die. Probably. But if they're not moving, you can tell someone... You don't understand. ...that you jump from car to car. They don't need to ask any more questions. They'll just be like, oh, that's so cool. Yeah, but then I'd feel like a fraud. I know. I know. It's just like what Mike said last week. Or two weeks ago. (laughs) (laughs) You... Don't always have to tell the full truth. You can just tell the truth that you jump from car to car. I could not that the cars were moving. I couldn't live with myself. I just would. I'd I'd rather jump from moving cars at that point because I wouldn't be. Well, let's jump to the next topic. Pick. (laughs) Boop 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 boop. Beepity boop. Bah. Bow. Pineapple on pizza. Mm. I'm for it. I fucking have always loved pineapple on pizza before it turned into this great social media debate. Um, I opted for pineapple and bacon pizza in the past. I've always suggested it when people asked me what they wanted um, for pizza toppings when they had parties. It was always a big hit. Um, It's the salty and sweet. Um, The acidity from the pineapple matches the uh, meatiness of the bacon and it complements it. And the acidity of the food. I'm kind of mad that you switched it because I wanted to defend it. <laughs> oh, it didn't. Oh, I did switch it. You did. It's I am okay. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Fuck pineapple on pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fully believe this, but since I have to de- hate it, I'm gonna hate it. Pineapple on pizza is gross. It should never be. The citrus of the fruit should not mix with the cheese. That is sinful. Cheese and fruit should never go together. That is preposterous. And tomato sauce with pineapple? How dare you? That gross. Just gross. G-R-O-S-S. Gross, bitch. Dana retracts everything she just said. I do. I love pineapple on pizza. Have you ever put pineapple on pizza with sugar? Mm. No. Very good. Um, I'll try it. Okay. Any sugar? White, brown. I like the raw sugar. Yeah. Gives it an extra crunch. Agreed. Yeah, twine. Okay. So am I hating or loving? <sighs> I don't know anymore. Hate it. Okay. You know what? You get to pick. You Since you're picking, you get to pick which compels you the most and I'll just... Okay. I'm gonna hate this. People who don't put a space between a lot and nowhere. Did you go to grammar school? Did anyone teach you from the age of 8 to like 11? That's where you learn all of how you spell and talk and you should know that a lot is not one word. It is not a lot. It is a lot. It is a measurement. Nowhere is not somewhere. No where. It is two words. Don't put them together. Sometimes you don't have time. You do not have time to insert that extra space between the words making them two as they should be. I am not denying that, but sometimes you just don't have time. And sometimes you have a character limit. If something has to go, and you still want this uh, tweet to or whatever to flow and be congruent and make sense, you gotta take the fucking piss. You gotta put a lot into a single fucking word. Meh. <laughs> Meh. Go ahead. Eyebrows? Am I 
I hating them? Sure. Listen here, you stupid furry fucking face caterpillars. What business do you have being there on my face? Sometimes you're bushy. And in that case, I have to go through very painful procedures in order to remove the little bit of hairs that you decided to grow not on yourself. Just like the eyebrow is the main fucking country and then the little stray hairs are just little islands surrounding it. What is that? They say you protect sweat from getting into my eyeballs. I don't believe it. You're a fraud. Eyebrows are not frauds. Eyebrows do so much for you. They do protect sweat from getting in your eye in your eyeballs. They also protect dirt from getting in your eyeballs. They also protect dandruff from getting in your eyeballs because they fall, it falls down from your head and lands in your eyebrows. And sometimes you have to brush it away, but that's okay. Sometimes people have unibrows. Unibrows are dope. Sometimes people just don't have eyebrows and that's okay too. But eyebrows make the face just look so much more alive and so much more, it adds characteristic. I'm shaving off my eyebrows after this podcast. I'm I have Jeffrey a cause Star. now. <laughs> all right. All right, all Ooh, right, we're running all right. low. Are we? They're getting low. This has gone really fast. Like a handful. Where's the time gone? Salty and sweet. This is your redemption. Die. We're too, we're doing the negatives. True. <laughs> Salty and sweet, gross. Choose one. Salty or sweet. Sometimes you're in the mood for salty. Sometimes you're in the mood for sweet. But you should never be in the mood for both at once. That is just wrong. Uncatholic, unchristian, unreligious of you. Don't do that. There are categories for a reason. Keep in your box. And don't mix. I don't want to see any chocolate-covered pretzels. I don't want to see salted caramel. Go away. Salty and sweet. You make a good point. Sometimes you just can't pick. And that's where the beauty of salty and sweet comes in. Because then you are able to satisfy not one, but two of your cravings. Chocolate-covered pretzel? fucking give me. I have had a chocolate covered potato chip in my time and I'll tell you right now, it was amazing. It was velvety and chocolatey and crispy and crunchy and salty and it just, it lit up my mouth like a Christmas tree. I've had chocolate covered potato chips before and they're gross. <laughs> they're not like amazing. Like don't yeah, break your neck trying to get yourself a fucking like, bag. kind of nasty. But if someone offers you one, try it. Why the fuck not? Get sass. Cocky fucks. The fuck you walking around so cocky foe? The fucking brilliance of this is that the most cocky people I have ever met tend to be the ones who believe themselves to be the most humble. Mm. Just take a moment of self-reflection and realize that, you know, not everything you do is God's gift to the world. Not everyone cares about what you're doing, and you probably care more than anyone else. But if they're not going to be cocky, who's going to be cocky? Sometimes people just need to have a f huge ego because they need to feel better about themselves because they're not getting the love and attention that they need in their life. So they project it onto other people that they're this amazing person and that they're so cool and so talented and just ready to take on the world when in reality, they're just giant pricks who have an, in an insane ego. And But that's okay because everyone has different things. Stand up for the cocks. Fuck them. Fuck the cocks. At first I thought you said cucks, and I was like, this is a different Fuck topic. Fuck the cucks. <laughs> this is a new segment on our podcast. Um. <laughs> Stick figure families on the back of cars. I'm angry. I hate them. They just... 
why? There's no... I don't care that the family in front of me has four kids and two cats and one dog. I don't give a single fuck that your third child plays soccer, Linda. Just go through the goddamn yellow light. It's not a stoplight. It's a fucking yield. But if it's still yellow, you can go through it. This is gonna hurt me more than it hurts anyone else. They're lovely. They, they mean that there is a happy family being transported inside of that vehicle that you need to ca take consideration of. It humanizes them in a way. It's, you know, no, I am not just this box on wheels. I am a mother and a father and Lucy and Bobby and our dog Skippy. Um, uh, it's, cr it's an outlet for people whose families, their lives. <sighs> <laughs> anyway take that anger and throw it into this Just next topic <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll probably do like one or two more each okay. leaving clothes turned inside out when washing them mm, okay I mean don't it, it's it's more of a cause of laziness more than anything. I mean, I know there's sometimes you have those clothes where, like, you need to turn them out so they don't wither away and die. But for the most part, just turn them in, like, the right side out. Because when they come out of the dryer and you're putting them away, it'll make it way fucking easier on you just to fucking fold them instead of then having to turn them the right way out. You're gonna have to turn them the right way out sometimes. Just stop fucking procrastinating and do it. But that's exactly the thing, is sometimes we just procrastinate, and I don't care if my clothes are in the washer and they're inside out. That makes them actually wash better, because you're outwardly washing the parts that are touching you, and the gross bits that are, like, your skin's all touching, and it maintains the outward, uh, the outside part, the part that shows, <laughs> I guess, <laughs> <laughs> because that needs to be like a proper finish and excess washing makes it go away boom bitch Do you my turn your or your turn out? uh sometimes it depends you jeans usually jeans usually because i feel like like at that point like if i'm leaning down on the ground it's way dirty, dirtier than like my skin touching the inside of the pants yeah it depends <clears throat> People who announce every action they make before doing it. I don't care enough. I don't care that you're going to the bathroom. Just be like, I'll be right back and go to the bathroom. I don't care that you're thirsty and you want a drink. Get up and go get a drink. You're at my house. Make yourself welcome. It doesn't matter. I don't need to know your every move. I'm living my life. Live yours. We can live around each other. Coexistion. It happens. It's a thing. Animals can do it with people. People can do it with other people. Thank you. I'd like to know a person's actions before they do them. Because it gives me a good idea of how I should react. You're going to the bathroom? Okay. I'll make sure to hold my piss in for another couple seconds. You're about to, like, stab me? Cool. Thanks for the heads up. I'll move slightly to the left to avoid that from being fruitful for you. Um, it's considerate, really, when people announce themselves. Mm. Weird. Love it. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Last round, baby. Ding, 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 ding. I hope it's a good one. I hope it makes me real angry. It's mine. Geese. Oh. Yo, man, what the fuck? Y'all are a bunch of goddamn assholes. You guys are like the minivans of the road and also the sky. And so rude, by the way. Like, I just got in with it a, like, a ten-foot proximity of you. Really nowhere near you. Nowhere where my limbs can, like, extend and, like, genuinely hurt you or anything. And you're still gonna fly up and attack my ass with your demon mouth and your duck bill filled with fucking demon geese teeth. You, you are assholes. I once had geese made me late to school, and I've never forgiven them. Geese are just protective creatures. They're protective of their pack, and they're protective of their children, especially their children. Geese are known to attack, yes, but they just mean well. They're scared, 
and as much of us are when we're confronted with something that is way bigger than us and we are not exactly sure as to what it is but it's threatening and so we act attacked or we attack if we are threatened just like geese do so leave the geese alone they're living their best lives fuck geese around the world yeah geese are they're rude they're so mean okay last one I want this one. Okay. Ooh, it's mine. Okay, here we go. Roller coasters. Huh. No, thank you. In, in fact, thank you. Next. I don't want any part of roller coasters. So many people have died on roller coasters. People get hurt on roller coasters all the damn time. And roller coasters are known to fall apart mid-ride. Can you tell me how scary that is? I can tell you a lot. Very scary, in fact. And no one can explain to you the sheer terror that is going to happen the first time you roll ride a roller coaster. The way that your body moves and your skin pulls away from your skeleton. Are you kidding me? Give them to me. Give me those drops from high heights. Give me those loop-de-loops. Give me the fast speeds. Give me the going upside down. Give me the corkscrews. I'll take them all. Roller coasters are a lot of fun. They make you feel like you're on a spaceship. Um, I've never died on one yet. So, points for that. Uh, they're fun. They, they are, they're liberating. You don't get to feel that anywhere else. I still hate roller coasters. Me and Dana are going to amusement park soon. Nope. We're gonna go on uh, King the Ka. No, we're not. Never been on King the Ka. Nope. Not going to ever. Not doing it. Thank you very much. Tried once, but the ride got shut down right before I got on. Yeah, Did I wonder I... why. Someone probably died. Someone probably died. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is an eventful episode. Yeah, we we hated on a lot of things. We loved a lot of things. I feel like it was well needed. We both needed to get this aggression out. I feel less aggressed. I feel less aggressed, too. I actually feel kind of, like, zen. Therapeutic. Very. Ooh, wow, maybe, guys. Maybe that's what we need instead of seeing a therapist. I think so. There's other outlets than paying someone $200 a lo- an hour to pretend to care about you. Make a podcast and complain about things. Make a podcast and complain about things. You'll be a better person because of it. There you go. Well, I had fun. And <laughs> I, I hope you guys can play Devil's Advocate. but but booby I hope you guys can play devil's advocate at home. Maybe play it at a party. Make it a drinking game. Make it a drinking game. Whoever has the best defense for it, whether they hate it or they love it, the opposite person has to drink. Yeah. The loser has to drink. Or if you're in a group of people, you can order whoever to take a shot. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Mm. Love that. Figuring it out. Drinking games. Ooh. A a dream dream <laughs> okay so i had fun have a good time and we will see you guys next week with episode 24 24 we are Holy. one ways away from being a quarter of a century we have to do something special we'll do some we'll do it we'll do a special 25 thingy majiggy we'll get there we'll plan it well dana if our lovely listeners happen to want to reach you on the interwebs where would they be able to do so they can find me on social media on twitter at Dana Renee underscore and on Instagram at Dana Renee underscore underscore. That's D A N A R E N E E underscore and D A N A R E N E E underscore underscore. Uh, it's confusing, I know, but if you care, you'll follow. Where can they find you on social media, Dominique? If you wanna Fanta Fanta, you can follow me at D O M M Y underscore D A R K and the number zero and that's on twitter or instagram take your pick Ugh, you're such a simple girl i try to keep it uh tight and right right and tight right you are and we will see you next week we'll see you then love you love you more goodbye hugs and kisses hugs